Blender Market is currently having a Black Friday sale. Let's go through all the add-ons that I use that I think you should too. Also, if you don't see it in this list, let me know what add-on I should be looking at. Now, one of the first add-ons I ever bought was GeoScatter. Great add-on for creating environments. And in saying that as well, B production add-ons of grass blade, vegetation, and forestation I use quite heavily. They mingle in quite well with the scatter add-on as well. But this isn't the last time I'm going to talk about B production. More fantastic environmental assets from the Polygonic team, and specifically the Botanica add-on. Mwah! Whole bunch of trees and a whole bunch of environments. Yes, recommended. But sometimes you take a really good photo and you want to match it. Perspective Plotter by Mark Kings North. Grab a photo, line it up with the camera, and uh, do your hard surface modeling like that. <laughs> now, if you are into cloth dynamics, Simply Cloth Pro is your way to go. With over 11,000 sales, yeah. In the near future, there will be videos on how to create clothes because I need this for my web series. So, like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with that. Now, good old UV Packmaster to optimize your UVs. This is something I use quite a bit when I'm not using my dream UV add-on. We'll talk about that in a sec. Now, decal machine, quickly make decals, quickly apply decals and just slap stuff together. I'm going back to using this a lot more prevalent because you can just put details on very quickly. And this is something that I picked up from doing the Star Citizen video. And uh, over 12,000 sales, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Now, KitOps is one of those add-ons that I purchased many, many moons ago. Great for hard surface modeling. And there's plenty of library sets to get access to. But uh, I'll put a plug in for Chip Waters Patreon because that's pretty good for its price. So for those of you who've been around with me for a while know that I've been using cars. This is one of the libraries I get them from. All the cars are already rigged, lights, everything. It's all set up. Just add, wham, bam, thank you, man. The car is in. And this is the Traffic Car Models add-on by Polygonic. And back to B Productions, the transportation add-on with some really nice cars in here as well. And they all work off the same rig, which is mwah. Now we're a little bit of a self plug here. The Dream UVs textures, all the kit bashing sets you can download from here, but uh, it's pretty much easy just to jump on Patreon and just download them there as well with a whole bunch of other assets, just saying. Now this is one that I purchased not too long ago, and this is a massive library of materials that's hooked up to Ambient CG. And so you can get access to all those materials very quickly. Yes, because uh, I hate dealing with materials, but when I do want to deal with materials, Realistic touch, all those scratches and grunge and mmm. I did a video on this recently, go check that one out. But with so many add-ons, the clean panels add-on to kind of just clean the panels. <laughs> now in the comments below, tell me what I should be purchasing. There's probably a good chance I will.